Hello everybody! Welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. Hello. We're doing something a little different this week. We are doing something different this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's Super Bowl week. But the Broncos didn't go. No, no Broncos this year. Yeah, no. So. Not our team. Nope. But, doesn't mean that there won't be Super Bowl parties and going to Super Bowl parties no matter what team's playing. Exactly. So, we thought we would do some, uh, treats for Super Bowl parties or yeah we're gonna do a appetizer a main entree and a dessert <clears throat> and we're gonna do some really easy ones really quick ones that you can take if you're like invited to a party last minute and you're like oh what do I bring yep so these are quick easy and delicious mm -hmm. I hope so <laughs> all right so we're gonna start with our appetizer first what is our appetizer they are pig skins in a blanket and they are going to be shaped as a big football so people can tear them apart and it's a family favorite in our house. All mm -hmm. of our little uh, nieces and nephews and stuff like this so let's make it. All right. What are we using here? All right. So you get, we'll go through the ingredients. Right you need two cans of croissants. You need two packages of little smokies. I got the beef ones. They didn't have any of the Hillshire Farms so got that. You need coarse salt and some pepper and an egg wash for the top. All right. All right, so you're gonna take your croissants. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Okay. And of course I wash my hands first. You did what now? Wash my hands first. Oh, okay. So, to roll them out and you're going to take each triangle and you're going to cut it into thirds so three little three skinny ones just like that and then you're going to take your Smokies, and you're gonna roll them up like they were. So you do that. Ah. And you just roll them up like so. And we're gonna do that with each. Yes. All right. So what you need, there's going to be 24 mini hot dogs that you're going to use. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12. When you cut these all up into thirds, it ends up being 24. Scott has made his lovely football arrangement of pigs in the blanket. Kind of looks like a football-ish kind of thing there. <laughs> and then you take this, your egg wash. That was pro, uh, like a can and a half of those Pillsbury. Yeah. We didn't use both cans. It was cans. more like, instead of 24, it was more like 39 or so. Yeah. All right, so then you're gonna brush the egg wash on top. Oops, sorry. Spent a lot of time on that, uh, <laughs> trying to make sure it looked like a football. Think I got them all? Looks like it. Then you're going to take your salt and pepper. <laughs> and you're going to just lightly cover them. Salt and pepper. Ta da! Alright, and then they go in a 375 degree oven. For 15 to 20 minutes. All right, let's All do right. that next. All right, now we have pulled our pigs in the blanket out of the oven. Yes. They look pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then you take your mustard, Frenches, of course. Frenches, of course. And then you just make some laces on there. Let's try this. Let's see how it goes. 
I haven't made laces for a long time ever. <laughs> so here we go. Do they start way up there? <laughs> I think they start there. I don't know if you know this or not. <laughs> not, not a real football. <laughs> it's more about Wait, the. No, I'm just kidding. Trying to make it kind of thick. Okay. There's that. And then we'll just do. Sound effects work. All right. And there you go. And there is your pull apart football. Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Pig skin in a blanket, if you will. So yeah, that was easy. That took, what, about 25 minutes 20, after yep. cooking and everything? Yep. Really didn't take any time at all. Pretty easy. Um, so if you need something quick and fast, There you go. Cool. All right, there's the appetizer. Step one done. Yeah, I would serve this on a nice plate with maybe some little ramekins of ketchup around it. Yep. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right, appetizer, or main course. Coming up. Here we go. We put a little ketchup out. Get your mustard. You got your pig skins in a blanket. You rip them out. Mm-mm. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket. How's that, man? Good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right. Quick and easy. Fun to take to Super Bowl parties. Yep. You can do that really easy. Again, just took a few minutes and we were ready to go. All right. Cool. All right. Wings are next. Okay. So for our entree, we've got. We're making pickled back chicken wings. So this one takes a little longer, but if you marinate them overnight, a cup of pickle juice. Um, cover it up. Put it in there. These are not ready yet, but <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. So anyway, you marinate them for for one to four hours. And then, yes, we'll get back with you after that. All right, here we go. Put those in, let them marinate. Okay. All right, time for our main course, the pickleback chicken wings. All right, so preheat the oven to 425. Yes. And you're going to get a large rimmed baking sheet like this, and you're going to put a metal rack on top of it, and I put parchment paper underneath it. Got it. In a bowl, you're going to whisk, whisk whisk together your bourbon. Two tablespoons of bourbon go in there, and you're going to put in your two tablespoons of honey. Okay. okay. And you're going to put a tablespoon of brown sugar in there. Put that one in there. Okay. That is half a teaspoon of onion salt. Okay. All right, half a teaspoon of paprika. Okay. I don't have a quarter teaspoon, so I'm gonna use my half, half a half a teaspoon. Okay. A cayenne pepper, I need a quarter, quarter teaspoon, so we'll do. About a half. Okay. Of a quarter. Okay, a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. All right, and then you're gonna whisk all that together. Gonna whisk that all together. Okay. Okay. All right. And then you're gonna put the wings in there after they've been marinating. All right. So now we're gonna put the wings into the. These are some big wings. They didn't have fresh ones, so I had to buy frozen. And they're giant. Just do those. 
Okay. buy three pounds of this is about two and a half pounds I have it I'm not putting it all in there right now I'm just doing like six of them but the recipe calls for six for three pounds and then on to the our baking sheet So now it goes in a 425 degree oven for 50 minutes. All right. All right. Here they go. So after just a little bit of cooking, we got our wings, our pickleback chicken wings. Not that hard to make. No. You do have to marinate them for one to four hours. So once you do that, it goes pretty quickly. You toss it in the sauce. They cook for about an hour. I cooked them a little bit longer. Well, it's 50 minutes, but I cooked them for an hour because they were a little bit thicker mm -hmm. wings. So I wanted to make sure they were cooked all the way through. Yeah, and they were a little frozen too, so. Yeah. But, yeah. But so they're done. They're done. They look there pretty they are. good. There you go. Those are good for a Super Bowl. Yeah. So pickleback chicken wings. All so right. Again, don't need a whole lot of uh, different ingredients for this, just a couple little things, and then you get a little something a little different. The one thing I didn't do is I didn't buy fresh dill to sprinkle on that. I used dill from a thing, from us. I used dill from a container, like a season. So, my yeah. bad, I should have used fresh dill, and I'm sure they're better with fresh dill, but yeah. let's try them and see what they taste like. All right, let's do that. All right, All right. try them, let me know how they are. All right, here we go. Hmm, I like them. They're good. Are they? Mm -hmm. Do they taste like dill they pickles? Really <laughs> um, a little bit. Like you can taste it a little bit, but it's not overwhelming. No. Uh uh. Hmm. That's really hot. Hmm. But they're good. Okay. Here, Jake, try one. Tatika. Ooh, they are hot. Mm, that's good. There you go. All right. All right. So there's our main dish that we're bringing, or whoever's bringing with the main dish. <laughs> to our Super Bowl party? Yes. Um, dessert next. All right. <clears throat> All right. So number three is dessert. dessert. <laughs> my favorite part. I, I know it is. It is my favorite. What are we doing for dessert? We're making chocolate covered strawberries that look like little footballs. I like that. All right, Thanks. real simple. Strawberries, we wash them. I melted some chocolate. They say to melt chocolate chips. Dry them off. And then we just dip them in the chocolate. You don't want to dip them all the way up, but so it covers again. Then we'll lay them on the parchment paper. So, until they are all covered in chocolate. We got strawberries covered in chocolate. Now we just let them harden. Oh, okay. So we can either put them in the fridge. I'm just gonna let them on the counter for a little few minutes because I think it's hardening pretty quickly and then we'll come back and decorate them. Okay, they've all dried. A little bit, uh, that chocolate's kind of hardened on the strawberry. Now we have cake cookie icing, white. You can also make your own icing and put it in a piping bag and do it yourself, but oh, yeah. I don't have no time for that. No, time for <laughs> that. Yeah, no time for that. And we're just making little laces. Little laces on the strawberry. 
Just like that. There you go. Bam. You can have all your strawberries and you're done. All right, well, you and better get going. Little tasty treat. You better get going. You got quite a few strawberries here. All right. Okay. There we go. Let's all do right. these. We uh, completed them all, or I should say, Chris completed them all. I just stood around and watched. <laughs> and they look really good. They look like tiny footballs. They sure do. Yeah. So that's our dessert. That one took no time at all. No. Again, another 15 minutes, maybe 15, maybe 20 15, minutes. 20 at the most. And a little dessert to take to your party. And we will put all, we found all these recipes on Pinterest, so we will put the links in the description. So if you guys are interested, this one obviously is melt some chocolate, put some icing on it. And Pretty darn going. simple. There you go. But we will put the links in there. All right. Okay. Cool. You want to try that one? Okay. Give it a little taste test. Let us know how that is. <laughs> I'll do the one up front. Just a little. Mm, still a little. Mmm, that's good. Mint. Chocolate covered strawberries. I mean, and we you used, can't really go wrong. No. <laughs> and we did use milk chocolate with these, so. Oh my goodness, that's good. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm gonna say these are healthy too. They are. Sure, why not? They're half healthy. You got little white stuff on your lips. What? <laughs> uh, all, right. all right, everybody, there's our game day appetizers main entree and a dessert yes and uh you know really you put that all together if you did all three maybe two hours maybe a couple hours yeah you know if you do some of the prep stuff a little earlier and you're just actually doing it maybe an hour or so but uh i thought they were all pretty tasty yeah i didn't think they were too bad yeah i really enjoyed the pig skins in a blanket i thought those were pretty tasty and those were super easy yes those are always people always love those yep and I really enjoyed the pickleback wings. Pickleback wings. Thought they were tasty. Yeah. So, and I thought those worked out really well. You know, at first they looked really too big to be wings. I mean, they were wings, but they looked too big to be. But once you go through the uh, cooking them and stuff, yeah. they're, they're right size. I normally buy the fresh wings, but because it's so close to game day, I think that yeah everybody's out, so I had to buy frozen. But they still turned out pretty good. And then the one thing we didn't do with them. We didn't put the fresh dill on them, we put like a seasoning dill. Yeah. But it didn't make that big of a difference. Fresh dill would have been better. Yeah, so those were good. Okay, yes they were. All right. And then finally, our dessert. Our little football strawberries. Yep, and I really like those. That was really tasty. Yeah. Again, it's a strawberry covered in chocolate, so it's yeah. not like you're uh, having to do a whole lot, but it, it's perfect. It's a little cute little, little dessert that yeah. you can bring. I would, um, Totally put the strawberries in the fridge after you're done dipping them. Mm. Let them set. I kind of just let mine dry and then they were still a little wet underneath, but yeah. they'll be fine. Yeah, and they'll last for a little bit. So really, uh, I really enjoyed those. Those were good. Yes. Okay, so that was our first home cooking vlog. Yeah. Woohoo. Maybe we'll do some more of that. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how this one goes. <laughs> but something different. Like them, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or if you didn't like it, don't like that. But hey, it was something different. We haven't done something like this, so uh, I enjoyed it. It's a pity fun. like. <laughs> no, it's a pity like. Hey, sure, why not? Uh, so thanks again for joining us for Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. Have a good game day on Sunday. Have fun, whoever you're rooting for. That's right. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way, when we put out our videos every Wednesday and Saturday, you'll get that notification and you can check them out. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks again. Bye.